Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we are continuing on with some AP Physics uh, kinematics problems. Again, I encourage you to pause on the video, take a look at this problem, try to do the problem on your own, and then if you get stuck or just want to check your answer, come back and um, watch how I solve this problem. So Bill and Ted are on the roofs of two separate buildings separated by distance D. The height of both buildings is H. Um, 100 meters is farther than Bill can throw his super ball, so he decides to throw the ball so it bounces once on the ground between the two buildings before it reaches Ted. Bill throws the ball so that when it leaves its hands, its velocity is parallel to the ground. We want to find the minimal velocity v naught with which the ball should be thrown so that it just reaches Ted. You should know the super ball is such that when it hits the ground, the velocity in the x right before it hits the ground is the same, and the velocity in the y direction is negative vy right after it hits the ground. So what it's basically going to do is it's going to bounce like this. And we want Ted to catch it just like that. Okay, Draw the figure above in your blue book and figure the sketch what you think the trajectory of the ball should be and what is v naught. Okay, This is roughly the sketch, roughly about halfway down and halfway up. Okay, Because there's a symmetry to the rise and the fall. Okay. So let's um Yeah. If it makes sense to you, it should be halfway is probably how I would think of it. Um so let's um I'm trying to think about this one and how I'm going to compute um Let's see time in the air to fall. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is um, I, I do know this. Um, in the x direction equations, so let's just split it in the x direction and y direction. Let's see what we know. In the x direction, I know that whatever velocity I throw, that it has to cover this distance. I need d is equal to its initial velocity times time. This is This is what I need, right? But I don't know how long it's in the air for, right? Like d is sort of given to you as a variable, and you're solving for v naught. So I know v naught is equal to d over t, for example. But I don't know how long it's in the air for. And when on, kin on projectile motion, if I want to know how long something is in the air for, I generally look at the y direction. Okay, in the y direction, I want to know how long it's in the air for. So in terms of acceleration and velocity, I'm thinking this equation, delta x, it's v naught t plus one half a t squared. Now, um, for the first part of the drop, the delta x needs to be h, right? We'll say negative h, because we'll say, um, actually, we'll say, we'll say positive h, because we'll say down is positive. So it needs to go positive h is equal to, now its initial velocity in the y direction is zero, because he's throwing it horizontally like this way. So it has no vertical velocity. So this is 0 plus 1 half a is 9.8. Because we said down was positive, this is a positive 9.8 second squared times t squared. So um, h is 19.6. So 19.6 is equal to half of this is 4.9. So this is meters, meters per second squared times t squared. This is divided by this is 4. So we have 4 is equal to t squared, or t is equal to 2. So it's 2 seconds this way. OK. And if it makes sense to you, these equations are going to be the exact same if I flip it up this way. So this whole duration is 4 seconds. OK. So it's. Its initial velocity needs to be the distance divided by the 4 seconds. The distance is 100 meters. So 100 meters divided by 4 seconds equals 25 meters per second. Okay. All right. Hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.